It's official, I'm in my small town romance era and that's all we're gonna be reading for a few days. Here, you know the drill, make sure to subscribe before watching the video. That's not a rule, but please do. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be reading small town romance, small romance, small town romance books. Okay, I just drank coffee, I don't know what's going on. And the first one that I'm reading, it's on my Kindle, it's Indigo Reach by Forgot the Author obsessed with that book i just like a silly little romance there's some mystery in it and it's super cool and then we're also reading if you guys remember that i wasn't a huge fan of things we never got over by lucy score i liked it but then i wasn't a huge fan of Knox. and because of that i gave it 3.5 stars out of five but this one it's looking way more promising i like the male character a lot more it's a thick one though so we might be on this for a while i also have it on my kindle very faster on my kindle but i do really miss just like the reading experience of reading physical books so we might read this one too i don't know i'll give you guys an update reach i'm obsessed with that book then we're reading this and i have an lc silver book that's really circulating on tiktok right now i'm so excited this is probably one of the most fun reading vlogs i'm ever gonna do but you know my reading vlogs never go according to plan and i'm not very good at updates but i'll try my best to give you guys updates listen it's snowing if you don't live in Cal southern california then you're probably like what's the big deal i've seen snow before but we are not used to this <laughs> and i think this is the perfect weather for reading yes i just got out of the shower because my southern california self is freaking out about the pipes being frozen over because this did happen in texas a while back so i'm just going to enjoy the snow this is not the best weather to read cowboy romances but we're still gonna do it <laughs> isn't that just crazy that is snowing right here so you can actually see it here i'm not joking if you're not from southern california then you don't understand if you are well you get it probably a bad idea to be outside with wet hair but look at that isn't that insane okay enough of the snow because if you guys live in any other state you guys are gonna probably think this is stupid have you guys propped on my jewelry box yes i'm in the middle of doing my makeup so i want to talk to you guys about finish diggle bridge first book i finished for this video and i honestly loved it i gave it five stars and that seems very generous but i'm because i'm in a reading slump i don't want to be super picky and start to like be like hey i probably shouldn't be rating this book so high because blah 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 like it's not like one of my favorite books and maybe i'll change the rating eventually but i really liked it so indigo bridge is about this girl that moves to the small town where her grandfather lives he is the major and she moves there because she got the job as the sheriff which is really cool and there she meets this guy from this family that the series pretty much follows this family it's called eden's family and she meets this guy and a lot of stuff happened then a murder happens none of this is really a spoiler i think you can find that in the back of the book but it's one of those things where like you enter the book and you don't think it's gonna be like super interesting the murder kind of adds like a little bit of you know extra spice for the roman so i was very happy that i stumbled upon that series now I'm reading book number two and I'm not enjoying it as much. I'm gonna be totally honest. And then I'm also reading, I always get the, num the names confused. I think it's Powerless or Flawless by Elsie Silver. This one, it's pretty fun so far. And then I'm also reading Things We Never, Things We Hide From The Light. That is book number two in the Nookmount series. And I do really like this, the male character a lot more than I like Nox in book number one. So we'll see. When I have another update, I'll let you guys know. So far, that's kind of where I'm at with this video. I honestly, I'm not good at like showing you guys me reading, but <laughs> I'm reading a lot for this video. So I'll give you guys an update when I'm like deeper into the other two books. Good morning. I'm about to read a little bit. Yeah, this 
so my verdict so far this book has been like blowing up on tiktok so like everyone knows who this is at this point i like it i'm not obsessed with it like i expect it to be i usually this happens to me with the first book in the series so i have high hopes for the second one but i do like it i feel like it's definitely gonna be a three or four star i don't think it's gonna be a five star read for me we'll see i mean i still have more than halfway to go this is like peak time for peak time for booktube because destiny said well Haley, fam and sarah Caroli got together and they filmed some videos and i'm like enjoying them so much but in other news i'm also filming a video so i'm almost done with flawless or powerless i always get the name confused i'm really enjoying it i think i had to kind of get over the hump but the female character it's not super insufferable it's big for me like i need that in a book and then the male character is not as brody and like rude as i picture a cowboy being so there might be a high rating and foresight we'll see when i actually finish and i'll talk about my glasses soon i promise we have got no natural lighting whatsoever going on because california is flipping out with the weather so i literally have a lamp behind you guys i have so much to talk to you guys about i want to kind of wrap up this video where we read small town romances for a week it technically went longer than a week because i had to take a break from the genre i want to kind of summarize the first two books the only two books that i ended up reading for this challenge that i put for myself and i have to say I do need a very long break from small town romances because they stopped hitting like they started to very soon after like I started reading book number three. Three books that I ended up trying to read for this challenge were Things We Never Things We Have in the Light by Lucy Score. Still reading that. It's so long. Her books are so freaking long. And I haven't had time to really get through it. And then the other one will be Flawless by Elsie Silver Flawless I got it as a physical copy read like half as a physical copy and then I read the other half on my Kindle and then the last one will be Indigo Rich honestly was pretty freaking good I'll talk about them in a second first I want to do a book haul and I'm also going to do a glasses haul the last thing I'm going to do is give you guys my thoughts and ratings on that book on both, the, both of those books with a little glasses haul so Drag sent me some frames and we haven't done a glasses haul in such a long time so that's the first thing we're going to be doing I'll show you guys the frame I tell you guys the name and we kind of go from there wore these in this video I'm obsessed with this color you know me I'm blue and this is what they look like on super cute the name of this frame is sandy so check them out they're always linked down in the description box the next frame i might have also worn in this video because i have no patience they're this tourist frames and they are cool the cool frames I actually have these in another tortoise print but these are so freaking flattering look at that super super cute then we have these are more like a retro vibe situation i think i actually had this frame as sunglasses they're the celia frames but i really wanted them just like regular frames they're definitely a vibe if you ask me and lastly we have we're actually missing a pair where is it okay hold on let me go creation from like bill hadid style situation and i saw these are a little bit too y2k for me but they actually kind of look cute so all right, so yeah, these are definitely Miss Bella inspired, and I'm kind of obsessed, honestly. They're the Nina frames. I feel like these will be super cute as sunglasses, too. So there's that, and probably what I'm gonna end up wearing, they're this octagon, I think. Frames are like silver, and they're called the octave, but so there you have it. Very appropriate name for them. These are super cute. I'm really retro actually. I've said super cute like a thousand times. Now it's time to talk about books again. On to the next thing I'm gonna talk about. I got a very exciting package from Arbeck Book Club and they're having a really great promo right now where you can get your first book for 4 dollars 4 I'm gonna put it over here just in case I get it wrong. 
and yeah that will be such a great deal for a hardback cover i want to show you guys the three books that they sent me they always send this like really cutie bookmarks and so send this card with the books that they sent you it is such a vibe honestly and i'm just super excited to work with them again i think this is my second or third time working with them this is my third time working with them i could be very wrong you've seen a lot of probably favorite youtubers booktubers work with them before so i'm really honored to be on their mind a little so this one is really cracking me up i swear it's called a half-baked murder by emily george it's so so cute so it says formerly trained pastry chef chloe barnes opening a cannabis bakery that's not all that the 28 year old ambition while she dream will live in the dream in paris with a half fiance and a michelin star restaurant gig around the corner but the rising eight girl of coast Co puffs rethinks everything after a scatty food review and humiliating breakup making her long home in sunny california make making her long for home in sunny california when her lo beloved grandmother falls ill chloe returns to quaint asalia bay to start in the most satisfying way possible concocting delicious edibles with her quirky aunt dawn Combining French luxury and the THC bakery by Chloe will take pop brownies to another level. That is until a creepy past acquaintance rehashes old drama and shocking turns up dead. Landing on Dawn as the number one suspect now alongside her closest confidence, the stone Chloe must alternate between budding entrepreneur and amateur slut to sleuth. I don't know how you say that. I feel like I'm saying that wrong and I'm going to end up saying a bad word. To get her aunt's name, open the best bakery in town and weed out the real culprit from a list of unsettling suspects. So this is kind of like a cozy mystery. It's giving something aunties and a murder. You know that book? So I'm excited to read that. The other two. This one, it's a little bit more of a, I want to say a more serious book. I'm gonna read it real quick and then tell you guys what it's about. Save some time. This is a fiction book about this woman that returns to India and she has to live with her father and then explores the kind of gender roles and class differences and stuff like that. It's like a very, very good book and I can't wait to read it. And then lastly, this one intimidates me a lot because it's just like very serious looking. Well, The New Life by Tom Crew. Obsessed with the cover, it's giving a little life this is this is what it says real quick actually i'm gonna read it yeah okay, oscar wilde gets mentioned in this and i'm very intrigued now i'm just gonna read you guys the last paragraph because this is makes more sense it says when oscar wilde is arrested just before joining henry's book to be published each man must decide whether to risk ostrac ostracism and jail and well the happiness of those they love or give up the project the new life is an unforgettable portrait of two men two marriages and a generation discovering the nature and limits of personal freedom as the 20th century comes into view i'm intrigued i'm so gonna read that let's go on to the elephant in the room because honestly small town romance kind of got repetitive for me two books i think to read four actually i don't remember what was what was the fourth book i think it was jasper bell or something like that and it was getting so freaking repetitive for me and i just couldn't get into it let's talk about flaws by elsie silver if i'm not mistaken i give i gave this book like a three or four star let me see what did i give this book i think i didn't rate it very high maybe the ending made me change my mind i was kind of leaning towards like a 3.5 star like a three star and then i don't know what was the last thing i did i gave it three stars technically like 3.5 stars 3.7 it was cute i liked it i thought I, I wasn't a huge fan of the male character she was a little annoying in a sense and that an annoying female character really gets me in a romance book so yeah um, for me i know everyone loves this book but i didn't really fall in love with it I'm still probably gonna try to continue this series at some point when I'm having that craving for a small town romance or like a cowboy romance. In the meantime, I am not obsessed, but I liked it. And then we have Indigo Reach. I really want to get that book as a physical copy because I love that book. Give it four out of five stars. The romance was pretty cute and all that, but I 
I was obsessed with the mystery part of it and I kind of like when they kind of mix up the genres and you have a little bit of mystery, you have a little bit of romance, crime going on and it was so so good. It's, it wasn't as yeehaw as this one was. I mean, it makes sense. This is like about a cowboy and stuff. But Indigo Reach was like way better in so many ways. The character development was better in that book. So for that reason, I like that one better than this one. I'm also going to give this author a try because I didn't mind the way she writes. So yeah, let me know what else I should read by her. That won't disappoint me. And we're going to kind of leave it at that brings us to the end of this video i'm gonna kind of close it up and say i would really appreciate if you guys subscribe to this video to this channel and i'll see you guys on the next video be kind in the comments bye guys mm -hmm.